I am going to do a little get ready with me and talk to the camera. Zoom you in. The weather is finally really good. We're getting really good on the cusp of being consistently beautiful. I'm using color corrector right now. I feel like in Can everyone in Canada is just coming out of hibernation. Happy days are ahead. Life has been super busy lately and I feel like my summer is already jam-packed with plans and every time we get to the spring season I always promise myself I don't want to over schedule my summer like I want to have time just to chill and relax because it always feels like every weekend I'm doing something or something's planned and then here we are again with a very busy summer but I'm grateful it's all gonna be fun and good travel planned I'm going to Chicago to visit family I'm going to the UK with Garrett which I'm really excited about I've never been camping weekend all these fun stuff but it definitely like drains your social battery and I'm definitely someone that really needs their alone time I recharge my batteries when I'm alone I need to be do a better job of setting time aside for just me and my interests and not always socializing Billie Eilish's um, new album just came out last night and it is so good it is probably in my opinion her best album her vocals are absolutely nuts her voice sounds like it's like a lullaby she could just soothe soothe you to sleep and I love in this album all of the uh, like switch ups mid song you think you'll have understood what the song is and then part way through it kind of does a transition to a totally different vibe, which is fun. So yeah, loving that. What else am I loving? I'm rewatching. Well, I'm toggling between rewatching Sex and the City and Modern Family. <laughs> Very different. Iconic shows. I'm using this eye primer because my eyelids are pigmented and they always crease on me. I hate that. I've recently acquired new makeup in my collection which is exciting and I'm going to use some of it today but I'm obsessed with these Patrick Ta blushes I know everyone's talked about them and I love Patrick Ta but I got this one for summer this shade is gorgeous it's like the perfect flushed look it's in the shade she's wanted such good value for these because you get a powder and a, and a cream I also have the shade She's That Girl, which is the cute pinky one. My friends for my birthday got me this blush from Nude Sticks, and I love Nude Sticks as well. And I've never tried this formula. I have the stick ones, but this one has SPF in it. It's in the shade Sunset Rose. It's very sheer, so this is like really, really natural. I'm going to use She's Wanted today, the looks like you're flushing one. But before that, I'm going to... Do a bit of concealer and I'm obsessed with the House Labs one. You know I love the Yuka app which basically scans products and tells you what's in them and how good or bad for you they are. This concealer and the foundation which I'm like thinking about buying now are 100 out of 100 like really really well on Yuka. Good ingredients, nothing's toxic you're putting on so it just makes me love the brand and the products that much more. My birthday was um like a week ago now and I got spoiled by friends and fam and one of my friends got me a Sephora gift card does anyone else like immediately spend them like I have no self-restraint when it comes to Sephora gift cards I will buy something the day of so I'm, tr I'm trying to be like oh just you know save it for a rainy day but realistically I cannot I just cannot do that. So I'm thinking of getting the matching foundation. Having these little breakouts on my cheeks, I'm wondering if I have to like clean my pillowcase. I used to have really bad acne as a teenager and I would do everything under the sun to get rid of it but really bad, like especially in the forehead. And I was really sporty, so I was doing like competitive soccer and I was playing hockey at one point and like just Anyway, so the forehead in particular was getting the most breakouts. I did everything, like obviously diet really matters, cutting out dairy, cutting out processed sugar as much as you can. Honestly, if you're a teenager and you're just like hormonal, you kind of just have to wait it out. It gets better usually. 
and I don't know one wants to hear that, but that's kind of how it is, I think. So now when I get these little breakouts, I'm like, whatever. <laughs> Doesn't bother me because I remember what I was dealing with for so long, so many years, and I'm just really happy that's all behind me. I'm just setting with the Charlotte Tilbury powder. I'm getting into reading again, which I'm so happy about. I'm reading the book Clara and the Sun right now, and it was a Nobel Prize winner. It's really interesting. It's a fiction book about this girl who buys an artificial friend. They call it like an AF, and it's from the AF's point of view, and it's basically her observations of human behavior and feelings and whether she can actually feel things and process emotion and feel things like sadness and love as she follows her owner, Josie, who is ill. She has, it's, they don't exactly in the book tell you, at least yet, what she has, but it sounds like some sort of cancer she's fighting or something terminal like that. So anyway, it's really interesting. And I usually go for more like nonfiction self-help type books, but this one I can tell is gonna be really powerful. It's just such an easy read as well. I'm really into it and I really appreciate fiction books that make you feel something. Like when I, if I'm picking up a book, I want to feel something. <laughs> in today's world, you have so much entertainment at your fingertips in terms of like social media, reels, TikTok, TV shows for fiction that usually I gravitate towards nonfiction in my books. However, I really appreciate fiction books that are just as powerful and give you kind of like the aha moments that a lot of these self-help books that are on fiction give you. Anyway, I'll let you know how it is. I'm gonna go in with the powder. Patrick Ta's method is powder and then cream. So I'm gonna do that. It's super pigmented. I find Dua Lipa has a lot of this blush color on. And she always looks gorgeous, so I am replicating. Cute. Might just do it with my fingers. Looks kind of like a beet. It's like such a bright, vibrant color. I think he does the powder or the cream after the powder because the cream leaves a bit of like a glow, like a hydration. I do a little bit on my nose. I just turned 24, as I mentioned, my birthday was the other week, and using the REM highlighter. I'm 24, I live with my parents, I'm working full time, I'm just at this point in my life going through the motions and saving money. It's kind of the first time in my life where I'm adjusting to life is what you make of it, kind of at this point. You have full control of how you want to architect your life and your day to day uh, versus, you know, when you're in school schedule's kind of set, you have a, a roadmap of what you're supposed to do. It's very liberating and exciting, but also there are days where I'm like, am I doing this right? <laughs> Which I think is normal. I get along with my parents really well, so I'm really grateful. This really old ColourPop palette that I love it has all these really nice fun colors, but also good warm browns. Tuscan Fun and Semi Fredo. I'm really just trying to enjoy this period of life because you know once i move out probably not going to be living with my parents again and i know i'll look back on this time and cherish kind of just the time we had together and the moments the day-to-day -day, my routine here so i'm just trying to enjoy and not worry too much of if i'm doing things right i mean i'm living at home saving money so that's the right economical choice right now, especially that everything is so expensive right now. It's actually messed up. There was like a news article that came out that Toronto, and I live just outside Toronto, is now more expensive to live than New York and Miami. I'm lucky that my work is very close to my parents' house, so it's like such a good setup for me. Sometimes I'm like, wish I lived a bit more in the action of things. But it's nice to know my, a lot of my friends are still living with their parents. It's kind of like we're all in the same boat at this point. Super hard to... The prices of housing are insane. Rent prices are insane. So... As much as I 
you know, wish I had a bit more of an eventful 20s. It's the norm now. It's unfortunate that this is life and we're going into a recession very soon. So I'm just trying to stash away as much as I can. However, Garrett and I have aspirations of living abroad while in our 20s while we're young. We're thinking England, which is partially why we're going to go there later this summer to kind of scope out if that's actually what we want to do. Yeah, I'm excited. I just really want to prioritize traveling as much as I can while I'm young before, I don't know, I eventually have a family, which feels so far out. It's funny because everyone, I've been with Garrett for seven years. We started dating when I was in, like going into grade 12 and he was going to university. We went to the same high school that we met. Everyone's like, oh, is he gonna, is he gonna propose? Are you guys getting married? I'm just in no rush to do that. And I want to live with him first before even thinking about marriage. And we're just like really happy and I have a lot of things I want to do before I get married and take that kind of step. My very traditional Italian nonna can't understand it. She's like, when are you getting married? I want to be alive to see grandchildren. I try to explain to her it's different now. Like people are living together typically before marrying. And a lot of my friends or family like don't want even want to get married or have kids. And that's normal now. She's like shook. So I tell her I will have kids, just not yet, <laughs> basically. It's interesting to see the generational gaps from like my grandmother, my grandmother's expectations of being a female versus my mom versus me. Just even from my mom and myself, so much has changed. Also, I'm just adding like a brown liner and winging it out a bit. It's so freaking hard to make the match though. I never usually do like a black liquid liner anymore just because I really like the look of a softer brown wing. And just like the effect eyeshadow has, like I like that it blends more with your eye. I love this brush by Real Techniques because it has the liner thing and then the spoolie. And I usually do nothing, I almost always do nothing to my brows. I bought this e.l.f. setting spray because the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray is like the best, but I was feeling poor and I didn't want to spend that money so I got this. And it claims blue light micro setting mist probably all bs but feels nice don't really know if it actually does anything whereas like the charlotte tilbury setting spray feels like your makeup is on what else what else is happening in this moment justin bieber and Haley bieber announced they're pregnant which is really exciting i mean i'm not really excited about it but it's exciting for them <laughs> um i'm happy for them as a complete stranger their baby's gonna win the genetic lottery. I hope they keep the baby very, very private and don't show it off on online because people are fucking nuts and will torment that poor child. As a couple, they've been through so much like public hate, so bringing a child into that, I would be, I would hope that they would wanna keep it very private. It's interesting to think about having kids in like such a digital age. I think about that a lot and like how do you, how do you govern that? I'm seeing that there's a lot of laws lately that are passing that's like banning social media for kids like under 13 or something like that and unless you have a parent's consent and I think it's the right direction. There's a ton of research and studies on children who are on social media or like just on a screen at such a young age and the impacts it has to your attention, your ability to learn something, or like focus. I just think like if we lose our ability to focus as a society, if we're raising a whole generation of people who can't go deep on a subject and only skim, scratch the surface on topics because they're so used to reading headlines and can't have the ability to critically, critically think about something, what is our world gonna look like if our attention span is like a goldfish? I don't know. I think that's why I think there has to be some sort of governance between children and teenagers and technology. We have to find a good balance to coexist because it's not going away. I make a really cognizant effort to delete my social media for one week per month. I don't find I'm addicted to it. I just like to disconnect for that period just to prove to myself that I can. And it's really interesting how quickly you adapt, how quickly you forget about it. Um, at least in my experience, I'll delete Instagram and you know, in an hour, I'll go on my phone, I'll go to where the Instagram app was on my phone, realize it's gone, 
go, okay, shit, turn off my phone. And that'll happen maybe four times before I'm not even thinking about reaching like for my phone to do that. It's such an automatic knee-jerk muscle memory reaction. Fill pieces of time in the day with scrolling. I feel like I just do so much cooler things with my time when I ha give myself that opportunity. So would recommend a little social media detox once in a while. I do it for a full week. And at first it was, it was definitely hard and then it got easier. And now I kind of look forward to unplugging like that for a bit. I'm doing my lips now. This is the color Spice, it's my favorite lip liner by MAC. Got some on my actual face. And then I'm gonna take one of my faves, Glossier Lipstick in Fuzz. Really good reddish nude. I'm not into the pink nudes on myself personally. And then, because the weather's so nice and it's summer, I recently got this Fenty Beauty lip oil. And this also rates really well on Yucca. It doesn't have any harmful ingredients in it. And I love how fat the applicator is. Well, that's it. That is the look. All right, well that's it. That's all I had. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far and I hope you found it interesting and I wasn't rambling too much. <laughs> yeah, have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one.